Good evening, everyone. We had a beautiful day with lots of sunshine, clear skies, and highs in the 60s, but we are in for a very chilly Sunday night, so bundle up. And of course, please be careful if you use space heaters. The kids, everybody will want the jackets tomorrow morning, especially. Take a look right now. Things very quiet across the board, but the temperatures are in the lower 40s out west in Rio Grande City, 45 here in Westlaco, 54 degrees in McAllen, 51 in Brownsville. We got a trio of 47s right now in Raymondville, Harlingen, in Edinburgh and 48 degrees out east in Port Isabel. Your winds right now out of the north to northeast between 3 to 8 miles an hour. It was not humid today thanks to winds coming from the north to northwest. So here's your day planner forecast. A chilly start at 8 a.m. with a temperature 42 degrees, but it will stay sunny for tomorrow. It's cool in the afternoon with a temperature 57 at noon and then 60 degrees at 5 p.m. The reason for our beautiful skies today is thanks to this big dome of high pressure, the big blue age that is over Texas is a very stable air mass, and because of that, the weather stays quiet for tomorrow. And that is nothing compared to what's been going on east for our friends in the Carolinas, or rather North Carolina, Virginia. They've been seeing a mess. Wintry mix in the pink in northern North Carolina, as well as snow in the white for Virginia, pushing off to the east. For us, none of that just stays quiet for tonight and for tomorrow, really for Tuesday. But right now, a cold night, especially up north. It's 32 degrees in Amarillo, 35 in Abilene, 34 in Midland. Right now, 45 in El Paso, 40 in San Antonio, 39 in Austin, 48 degrees in Houston, and 41 at this point in Dallas Fort Worth. Let's travel up north on I-35 and right now 19 degrees in the Twin Cities, 22 in Des Moines, out east, 20 in Green Bay and Chicago, 25 in Thunder Bay, Ontario, 14 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, 18 in Bismarck, 21 degrees Rapid City, South Dakota, and 19 degrees in Hastings, uh, right now 25 degrees in uh, Cleveland and 32 out west in Salt Lake City, Utah. Back home in Texas, it stays a chilly for tonight and for tomorrow, just cool for tomorrow afternoon. But the sunshine does continue. We'll have a warming trend over the next couple of days. We're back to 70 on Tuesday and then upper 70s Wednesday and Thursday. And then another front comes in by Thursday. We're going to put in a, just a very slight chance for a shower. There's not much moisture to work with. So we're going to keep in just a very slight chance of a shower on Thursday. It is chillier once again behind the front for Friday morning with lows in the 40s. And then it warms up just a bit for next week. And so it's dry for tomorrow, dry on Tuesday, and also dry on Wednesday. On the water, we'll have winds out of the north at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop, and the seas are 2 to 5 feet. Your forecast for tonight, we're down to 40 for the overnight low, but the ranch lands could very well see low temperatures in the upper 30s under clear skies. Because you have the clear skies, that's going to allow the temperatures to really drop as we lose that heat that is accumulated during the day from the ground. That escapes into space, and so it's going to cool off rapidly for night. Winds out of the northwest and north at 5 miles an hour. Tomorrow, after a cold morning, a cool afternoon, a lot of Sunshine, though, with a high of 63, will have winds that are northwest and north at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And here's that seven day forecast a slow warming trend. We're back to 70 on Tuesday, low temperature 41 in the morning, mostly sunny skies. 56 Wednesday morning with a high of 78 in the afternoon and partly sunny. We'll put in just a 20% chance of a spotty shower on Thursday with highs in the upper 70s. Behind that front, a little bit cooler and also breezy on Friday with sunny skies and highs in the upper 60s, but the lows are in the upper 40s. When you wake up Saturday morning, low temperatures are in the lower 40s, but we're back to 70 degrees Saturday under mostly sunny skies. That's your first Warren 5 forecast.